For over 30 years, the Office of Corporate Social Responsibility has utilized a robust three-pronged approach that has enabled us to be prophetic and passionate about our commitment to socially responsible investing. Our corporate resources are consistently managed to promote justice, peace, and reconciliation in order to bring about systemic change in society and in our relationship with the environment. We are privileged to have a process that includes social justice grants, community development investments, and shareholder advocacy. Mother Frances Bachman, our foundress, said that as long as God does not stop giving to us, we will not stop giving to those who are poor. That mission is clearly carried out in our Social Justice Grants Program, which supports grassroots organizations in projects ranging from women's empowerment to prison ministry and to places where economic and social opportunities are far from equal. A good example of this is our recently awarded grant to Picture the Homeless, Housing Not Warehousing, a grassroots organization led by homeless New Yorkers organized around the root causes of homelessness. Their goal is to shift the commitment of the city of New York away from shelters that enrich private slumlords and toward investment in permanent affordable housing for the poorest. One of their first objectives will require the city to do a comprehensive survey of cluster and apartment size needs. Members will focus on issues of civil and human rights and on building relationships. Their motto, don't talk about us, talk with us. Our grant is enabling these homeless leaders to speak to the issues of homelessness and to work to change the laws and policies that keep them on the streets. Since 1985, we have strengthened the economic fiber of many communities through our community development loan portfolio. Organizations are energized when they have necessary funds to build capacity for partnerships, small businesses, clean energy, and affordable housing. This form of impact investing provides funds for new and creative ways to help individuals and organizations grow and become more sustainable. Today, we'd like to give you a glimpse into one of our newest investments, Iroquois Valley Farms, an organization that buys organic farmland or land that will be transitioned to organic in order to lease the land to families interested in farming. As a certified B Corporation, we are firmly committed to a triple bottom line. As soon as we purchase or finance a piece of farmland, our farmers begin to transition and remediate that soil to a state of health. Today our company is 70% millennial by tenancy. The change in agriculture is being driven by the next generation of organic family farmers. It's a very positive change out there. We can't be more excited to be supporting this change. Our work aligns with the sisters' own work in social justice and environmental stewardship. We support family farmers, and it is strong family farming businesses that are the backbone of rural community. Our collaboration with the Interfaith Center on Corporate Responsibility, the Investor Environmental Health Network, and other non-governmental organizations give added meaning to our shareholder advocacy ministry. We engage with corporations on a variety of issues and enable them to be more accountable for their policies and actions. As faith-based investors, we believe that we bring a positive, moral, and ethical perspective to the dialogue table. And as members of local communities, we are in a unique position to advocate for policies and practices that strengthen and sustain environmental, social, and governance aspects of socially responsible investing. We use many tools such as screens and other active ownership strategies like meetings, dialogues, letter writing, proxy voting, and shareholder resolutions. We have had successful engagements with many Fortune 500 companies across the global community. In just this past year, we addressed unethical business practices at Wells Fargo, the ethical recruitment of migrant workers at Hershey, the human rights of workers in the supply chain at Kroger food stores, the risk of hydraulic fracturing operations at Anadarko Petroleum, the human right to water with Chevron, the unsustainable drug pricing policies at numerous pharmaceutical companies, greenhouse gas emission policies 
at companies such as ExxonMobil, Ford, Coca-Cola, and Microsoft, the use of antibiotics in meat at McDonald's and Hormel, sustainability and product safety at Dollar Tree and Dollar General. We are proud to be active members of two newly formed coalitions that will engage companies on gun production and opioid use. The Sisters of St. Francis coordinate the work of PACRI, our local coalition of faith-based investors. Many of our members do not have the capacity to perform this shareholder work, but are able to remain active within this group. This collaboration has not only kept our members informed, but also allowed us to reach out to companies on vital issues, to make our voices heard with government officials, and gives us all a forum through which to educate others on topics as important as climate change. Although our ministry and corporate social responsibility is global in scope, we have a particular interest in companies that are headquartered in the Philadelphia region and have a large footprint there. We have active engagements with Aramark, Comcast, Campbell Soup, and Amerisource Bergen, as well as Pennsylvania companies like Rite Aid, Hershey, and Dick's Sporting Goods. As Quaker faith-based investors and fellow members of PACRI and ICCR, Friends Fiduciary Corporation works collaboratively with the Sisters of St. Francis to press companies to become better stewards of the environment, to treat their workers equitably, and to use resources responsibly. We share a vision common among members of ICCR that corporations can do well while doing good for others. It is our hope that this video gives you a sense of our unique daily work with corporations. We are committed to fostering solidarity, promoting the common good, and protecting the land, air, and water. We believe that our engagements with large corporations have changed many corporate policies to those that are sustainable and good for people and planet. Though we face many challenges in this ministry, we are filled with gratitude for those who collaborate with us to make a difference, and that includes corporations. You're welcome to join us. Thank you.